Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Where are you all and when you're watching this? Here at the BMW showroom to pick up my 850 after a long time. If you're new to this channel, go check out the previous videos. I got this bike for some small repairs. The bike got damaged during shipping from Delhi. That was like, that feels like ages ago. I had to get the repairs done. It was a bill of around 40,000. Most of it will be reimbursed by the insurance company. Since there is no cashless facilities with the insurance company and this dealership, I paid it in full. But as you can see, the bike's ready. So the few things that were replaced were the footrest, this one too. Need to adjust the gap between this one, the center stand and the footrest because they're too close. Usually they should be here, but the person who gets that done is not here. We also got this part replaced. So this is the new fender. There was a small crack here which could open up big time. This is slightly inwards compared to this one, but that's okay. That's not a major thing. So those were the only major changes, the footrest and the fender. Need to still replace this, but this is not covered under insurance. Need to get that done. Also need to replace this part. There are a lot of scratches here, but this is usable. This part, no, definitely not. Like you can see the damages here. That needs to be replaced. The rest all are good. Nothing on this side. Everything's fine. A50 is back. Let's get on the road and talk. So the center stand is working, but it's not the most stable. It never used to move this much air before. See, this has to be here. So something was bent here, big time. We didn't get it replaced in insurance because it was not a major damage. The surveyor sometimes do, doesn't accept that and the part takes at least two months to come. So no point leaving the bike here. So thought I'll just adjust it and get it repaired. Chalo, let's go. Ah, generator wapas gaya. I think I need to get the air pressure checked. It's not moving so easily, but that's also probably because I got used to this Crambler 1100 in the last few days. Luckily, my bike had uh, lesser damages than Strujan's bike. Strujan bike, a lot of things had to be changed. Mine, the bill is around 40,000. I've showed it in the last video, in the video where I indicated about how this bike was damaged. ML350. love the riding posture on this bike you sit so tall and high so the remaining parts that need to be replaced on this bike include the stop screen this part the mirrors fine it's not shaking and the top case so those three this costs around 150 euros or 100 euros after double check this probably costs less than 5000 rupees and the top case cost, new top case cost 30,000. So those are the things that are left. Signal may when the bike doesn't get hot. <laughs> this gets hot, but after Ducati, everything feels normal and cool here. Finally, we'll have two bikes in the house. The house is going to be filled up. More complaints from my mom. Ah, mirror. The moment I step on this bike, I miss long rides here. Long rides go bad then ogya. This windshield makes a ton of a difference, but not needed in the city. Abba, fir se wohi bump. Wohi. The mirror was not adjusted properly. Probably need changing as the horn. Long time due, but ठीक है. We'll do it slowly, but nice here. Nice to have uh, the bikes back. Small changes here and there. Once they are replaced, I think we'll get it back to the original shape. The way the insurance works is the insurance company that I have, which is United India, which is covering the insurance on this bike, doesn't have a cashless agreement with the BMW showroom here. I have to pay out of pocket the 41,000 amount, submit these bills to the insurance company, for which they will reimburse me maybe mostly around 95 to 90 to 95 percent of amount will be back the depreciation here but you will have uh, to still pay some amount out of pocket that's how insurance works kind of love this bike in the city too because you sit so tall you can see the traffic and maneuver it very easily 
uh, we have at least half a tank of fuel so no need to change the fuel but i need to get the tire pressure checked 32 36 36 yes the tire pressure was low it was around 20 or something i can feel the difference when i leave the handlebar it was hard to move now much better much more maneuverable in the city i'm not planning any mods or any upgrades on this need to just ride it here need to get it till 30000 kilometers zodo is around 17250 if there was no second wave things would have been better for so many people and i don't think this year lay would be possible in the current scenario it doesn't seem right too so let's see how uh, hopefully people uh, get vaccinated soon and things get better for all of us but for now i don't anticipate taking this bike out beyond once in one two weeks so need to maintain the battery in good condition the good thing at uh, the bmw showroom is they remove the battery whenever it's uh, in service for and it's staying there for beyond a week and they charge it up but this bike has been at bmw workshop for at least four months uh, during my entire ownership one for that radiator issue which was replaced under warranty and now for the repair minor repairs but still the parts had to come from germany and in the current scenario it's very difficult to get the parts and these are not typical regular parts the footrests are something that they usually don't keep in stock they'll usually keep in stock uh, like the clutch cables the brake pads those are things that they keep in stock uh miss this third floor to minus two minus three uh transition see that see that see that see that chala guys i'm hungry it's 140 the only reason I came out was to get the bike. That's done. Now I'll have some lunch and uh, get to edit this video. So we'll probably catch you guys later in the evening. The big brother is in the house. And the small one. So nice to see these two bikes here in the garage. They filled up the space entirely. This is in wide angle. It takes up decent space here. The collection looks good, right? This eclipses that bike big time here. Yeah. Need to switch position so that this is easier to take because that won't be taken out so frequently. Hello, quite hungry and also sweating like a pig. So we'll take a quick shower and then have food. And now you come home from outside in this scenario, get a shower and then do anything in the house. If you're wondering where the scrambler is, just took it out. It was slightly tricky to get it out from there. Had to twist and move quite a bit, but go back and kept the ether here because it's uh, something that I take out very frequently so use it a lot can't keep this inside the home and this is the Ducati just to clean the tank, the seat and the front mudguard the rest of the bike is dirty because it rained sounds sweet right? got the bike out because I got a message from the Ducati showroom that uh, one form, form number 22 which is uh, required for registration of this bike has arrived the showroom so heading there to collect that, hey, that's a lovely car. One of my favorite when I was in college, Land Cruiser Prado. Very rare, but those Prados used to be the proper SUVs. You like the ring light? The headlight uh, ring, the DRL, looks distinctive and unique. Anyway, so the Form 22 is there, so heading there to collect it. And I also reserved an ember. So most probably the registration will be done tomorrow or day after. Want to get it done this week itself because we don't know how things would be from Monday. And in that regard, better to get all things done with this bike so that I don't need to go out to all these offices anymore. Anyway, lovely weather to enjoy a nice evening ride. We'll go collect the document and come back home. That's the plan. Yeah, that's it for today's video guys and hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comment section and in case you're watching this in the night time, RAL board. People need to learn how to slow down and how to stop on flyovers. Especially this flyover, I see a lot of people coming till here, reversing or coming till the entrance of the flyover, realizing you can't take left or right, so they go reverse which is not safe for others forget about them anyway in case you're watching this in night time have a good night and take care see you guys in the next one bye bye